اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد و ثنا اللہ رب العالمین ثم الصلاة والسلام و تحیت الکرام علی جمیع الانبیاء والمرسلین والشہداء والصالحین والصدیقین وعلى خیر خلقه البشیر النذیر السراج المنیر الذی سمی فی السماء بأحمد وفی الارادین بأب القاسم محمد صلی اللہ علیہ محمد وعلیہ وعلى آل بیتہ تیبین الطاہرین ولعن دائم لا اعدائہم اجمعین اما بعد بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہم حبب الی فیہ الاحسان وکرہ الی فیہ الفسوق والعسیان وحرم علی فیہ السخت والنیران بعونک یا غیاث المستغیثین صدق اللہ و صدق رسوله و صدق ولی الكریم صلوات الحمدللہ today is the 11th day of the month of Ramadan المبارک میں اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی increase our ایمان and bless us the bounties and blessings of this day and this month may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to learn Islam knowledge of Ahlul Bayt, Quran, Duas, Munajat so we can have a taste of Munajat when we supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remove us from darkness and error bless us the treasure of knowledge indeed those who guard the knowledge, especially knowledge of Qur'an, Islam, Ahlul Bayt, and knowledge of ourselves. Man araf nafsah faqad araf rabba. They are the one who consider as a successful. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala include us among those who are urafa of the time, insha'Allah. Brothers and sisters, dua of each day is a good opportunity for all of us to see our duties and responsibilities and how we can inshallah have each and every day one station closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and one uh, station away from Jahannam and the chastisement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so today's dua of fourth imam he is focusing on specific points but the first and foremost point is Habib Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the love towards ihsan and beauty and make us to feel the shame or the ugliness of the uh, oppression and zulm. Brothers and sisters, this is the alaykum sir, this is the first point that Habib Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us love towards the beauty. Is this a great thing? Yes, indeed. If we have a love towards khairat, khair, no need for us to remind a mother who has a love in her heart towards children, no matter how difficult it is, no matter she is going through some rest or not, when our child needed, if mother heard the crying of the baby, she will jump towards baby and she will do everything. She will feed from her blood, from her heart, everything. And she wants to feed the baby whether she is hungry or not whether she had some food or not, whether she had the rest or not. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed the mother, the love of the child in, the, in her heart. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ حَبَّبَ إِلَيْكُمُ الْإِيمَانِ وَزَيَّنَهُ فِي قُلُوبِكُمْ Indeed, Iman, faith, what we have, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us desirable towards Iman. 
and make us beauty towards the iman and faith our sisters when they observe hijab when they wear hijab and they're walking in the street 100 plus you know degree and they feel proud of that and they don't feel that oh it's because of heart or i don't want to go back to the ancient age or this is that no they're proud of wearing hijab why because this hijab has a love in their heart allah subhanahu wa ta'ala planted the seed of love in the hearts of the believers towards ahkam summer winter any time when i want to observe fasting when i go to work sometimes you know atullah bahajit he used to say that my role model is those worker who work during the daytime while they're fasting in the summertime and they are thankful and grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when namaz time comes Allahu Akbar they want to be attracted to the masjids indeed this love and zinat is planted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the hearts of the believers, brothers and sisters. This love is indeed from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Allah, yuhibbul, yuhibbul tawabin. In Allah, muhib. He is complete love. And he is the one who is planting the seeds of love. من آياته أن خلق لكم من أنفسك مزواجا لتسكنوا إليها وجعل بينكم المودة والرحمة. The moment عقد نكاح has been recited after that the love between husband and wife is fitri is coming from their heart. But sometimes people not knowingly they don't understand the significance of that. As if you talk to those who are so-called Muslim that why you don't wear hijab, they throw some excuses. The same thing, husband or wife, when they want to throw some excuses not to demonstrate their love, they're losers. They don't know. According to our sixth imam, in the time of our sixth imam, a man came to our sixth imam, Ishtika, he was doing complaining and shikayat towards uh, about his wife to imam or imam said if you have a problems you can resolve the problems you can talk about the problems could be your your you, you, you have mistakes could be she has some mistakes you can resolve those mistakes that's a general normal in any family in any relationship husband wife they could have some differences they have some problems those problems difference is not a problem or imam said you can talk that's normal but the moment you said that because of these points i hate her that is something against the will of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you did not understand the relationship between husband and wife go and fix that why because in allah hab this love should come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And once we've, we know, we believe that this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you work. You'll amaze that. When I go to work, as simple as, for example, cashier. Or just I have to facilitate the uh, customers. Because of the policy of the company, you cannot treat people harsh. You have to communicate with them good. You cannot say these words. You have to say, may I help you? All those. You'd repeat that. Why? Because of job. And later on, you enjoy. Why? Because you're practicing more and enjoy that. Allah subhanahu wa says that. The rule of Allah subhanahu wa is to have a love in family life. Where is that? Allah subhanahu wa is less than a CEO of the company who makes some rules 
that you need to follow this one, two, three, four, and you cannot follow one, two, three, four? Quran says, among the believers, when you gather together, you need to demonstrate your love towards each other. Brothers and sisters, yeah. when we are treating, dealing with believers, we, we have to treat and deal with them with utmost love and compassion. Those who are oppressors, zalim, you need to be harsh towards that. Unfortunately, towards zalim, if example, I don't know Saddam today is gone, but if Saddam is in power, zalim, and you're standing before Saddam, you're shadid towards him, or here, ha. Baba, you have to be ruhama obaynahum among yourselves. If you see zalim, you have to be harsh with the zalim. We flip that. If I have opportunity towards my wife, husband, my children, society, my co-workers, whatever, I'm shadid. And for these strange people, I demonstrate love. As our great scholar, Allah Matabataba, he mentioned that. The amount of respect and love we express towards namahram, if we express towards our own spouses, our marriage will be 50 times better. We don't understand. We think that I know, but we don't. You just you observe yourself that once you're talking to a namahram in your co work, whatever, you laugh, you talk, all that. When it comes to home, there is no jokes, nothing. As if world is collapsed and you have no life. That's not the teachings of Islam. Habbaba. Or Imam today is asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, bless me, love towards Ihsan, Khairat. When I do something good, I should love and cherish and I feel good about that. When I write a check, when I donate, when I do something, I should feel good. Imam Khomeini, a man came to Imam Khomeini and he was uh, bragging that, you know what, I have, for example, this much and this much. But back then, at that time, 20 million Tuman is a huge money, especially before revelation, and Imam Khomeini needed it. And he was bragging. Imam Khomeini said, please, if you think that this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you should be proud and you should be happy not to giving to me because it, that's not for my personal usage. That's for Islam. You can donate and you have to be happy. But if you think that by donating, writing a check, this much of amount, you're doing ihsan towards others, no. In ahsantum, ahsantum anfusikum. If you're doing something good, you should know that you're doing good for yourself. Why? Because after all, you're getting reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if you am bragging, if I want to, for example, be famous, all that is a qantra for a small, short time. Brothers and sisters, this love of khairat, ihsan, is key to have more khairat. Mother doesn't need to be reminded that your baby is crying. The moment she hears the, the voice of baby, she jumps to the baby. She do every effort to, you know, please the baby. The same thing. Mu'mineen. Ruhma ubaynahum. For the prayers, for the fasting, for our wajibat, for our muharramat. Why we have a taste of ghaibat, we don't understand. It's not karraha. So let's talk about ihsan. What is ihsan? Ihsan, as I mentioned before also, the good deed which you offer only for sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not for your wife, not for your husband, not for your masjid, not, no, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's called ihsan. So if you're coming here to listen to majlis, you want to discover yourself, your beauties. Do you think that your small body of this creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fi kan ta'ala alam al-kabir. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you with his own soul. Potentials. 
There is no limits for that. You can go all the angels, they can wish to have your rank. No angel, no malak can reach to the potentials what we have today. Or you can go to Aswala Safilin to the point that even dog and pig can complain to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the judgment day that oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you created me as a dog and pig. I acted as a dog and pig. I was dog and pig while well, you created him as a human being. And he was lowering, going down and downhill, downhill. And people, they called him pig. It's not equal to me. I was better than him. Why he should be called as a pig? So that's why Imam says, don't call to a bad person dog and pig. They were the worse. So we have a potential to go to the worse, a good. So the point here is, Ihsan, how much I have a good deed. Brothers and sisters, good deeds. Yes, some of these good deeds between me and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fasting, prayers, wajibat, all the hajj, and what all we do. Some is between me and people. Zakat, khums, sadaqah, fitra, what or I can contribute towards the people and also helping the people, blessing the knowledge and you know sharing the knowledge. What or I can and my capacity the key about tawaso sharing each other is no one is complete. I cannot act by myself. I need your help. You need others help. All of us, we have something to offer and something to learn and something to share and something to contribute. And we can grow together and we can have a beautiful growth when we help each other. In Ahsan to Mahsum Lanfusakum, we have to have this in our life. Like Allah Ma Shaheed Mutahari, he used to say that the one who able to understand this ayah in Ahsan to if you did good thing, khair, know that this is for you, yourself, not for others. If you do salam, you're not doing salam to others. No, you're doing for yourself. If you're coming to masjid, you're helping masjid, you're not doing so anyone. No, for yourself. If you're going for risk halal, bring the halal risk on the table for your family member, you're not doing for your family member, you're doing for yourself. Why? Because that's your duty. If you don't, you're committing sin. And ahsantum, ahsantum anfusikum. It's good that write it down, this beautiful word. If you do good, you're doing for yourself. Put it in your bedroom everywhere. Look up to that all the time. Before you go to work, in ahsantum, ahsantum anfusikum. In work, if you are helping others, you're not helping others for something. No, you can make intention. If you do that, you have no energy to deceive people. You have no energy to lie. You have no energy to, you know, do silly job. You want to do the best. Why? Because you want to build and shape your akhirah with your own hand. Ahsanu. In Allah yuhibbul muhsaneen. Do good for yourself. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who do good. Inna rahmatullah. Qareebun min al muhsaneen Indeed, the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is closer to those who do good. Or imams said, as if, for example, there is, if there is a, a valley or there is a, a you know, uh, the, uh, you know, like if uh, the uh, earth is very, uh, uh, you know, the smooth or even water comes, doesn't store in one place. But if there is a hole there, water will store that. Our Imam said the same thing. The Rahmat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will gather around those who are doing good in their life. If you want to be treated with good by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by angels, you do dua, Rabbana, atina fi dunya hasana wa fi l'akhirat hasana. Do good towards others. So you can expect something good. 
ان الله يامر بالعدل والاحسان انديد الله سبحانه وتعالى commands us to do good all the time man ahabb an-nas ila allah holy prophet when he came back from the mi'raj and usually you know when you are coming back from a special journey if you go to for example hajj umrah or for example uh, you know a special journey people will gather around you and they want to learn they want to know what happened 1 2 3 4 and can you explain us your experience can you share us your you know journey what our and once he's talking everyone wants to listen wow good mashallah you went to hajj this year hajj was difficult oh it was good mashallah how about safa marwa the pebbles uh, throwing the pebbles to shaitan all that you want to learn good and you sometimes you are eager to learn more so holy prophet he came back from journey of heaven seventh heaven is not a joke as i mentioned all these entire system what you see the galaxies upon galaxies not only milky way not only solar system or for example earth all together is one earth and we have seven layers of earth and holy prophet he was passing all those seven layers of the earth and then he reached to the first layer of the heaven second third fourth fifth sixth seventh to the point that the highest the peak of pinnacle of the seventh heaven when he was there qaba qawsain jibril said i cannot go with you because this is my limit if i step one step ahead of this point i will be burned why because this is my limit jibril he stayed there holy prophet he started his new journey by himself قاب قوسين او ادنى دنوا وقت رابا من العلي الاعلى he was there and when he came back from that journey of mi'raj people around him gathered and they asked some of the question one of the question ask people ask is ya rasulullah you able to see everything all the heavens everything so you have a good idea and command all the heavens and earth and everything tell us man ahabb an-nas ila allah who is the best person among us to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so they want to know who is the best person to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala among the people all holy prophet said walladhi bi yadihi nafsi as swear by god the one who possess my soul it means allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anfa'u an-nas lin-nas huwa muhibbu allah the most love loved by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who give the khairat to the people anfa'u an-nas the most beneficial towards the people if i'm khair you know shahid mutahri he used to repeatedly say in the month of ramadan that the prayers and fasting the hajj is not the criteria to judge who is good and who is bad that's between you and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you're doing good prayers good alhamdulillah but the result of the good prayers should reflect in our actions inna salata tanha anil fahsha'i wal munkar this prayer if i'm offering good prayer this good prayer should stop me from wrong doing so the judge to know who is good among us is the one who is good towards each other the more you give the benefit to the people the more you're doing good things towards the people you are the better not the one only the one who prays the prayers and fasting and all that no that's not the criteria that's good between you and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you offer 100 rakat 1000 rakat is good for, between you and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if imam ali rasam is good it's not because he was praying 1000 rakat each night no because he used to carry the bread he used to distribute among the orphan he used to help the people he was ashidaw al kuffar he was defending islam he was doing all the khairat he was a source of khairat towards the people that's the criteria just imagine that our beloved imam amir al mu'minin 
He has Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. He has seven orchards in Medina. When he moved from Medina to Kufa to govern the people, to establish the Hukumat Islami, Islamic government, to establish the system of Islamic government, Allahu Akbar. Today, after 14th century, we're not talking about the barbaric time, no. 14th century back, where there was no technology, there was no system, nothing. Or Bilal Imam Amin Rumi, he wrote a letter to Maliki Ashtar, how to run the system, how to establish the government, how to deal with the people in terms of the uh, you know, dealings and everything. I urge brothers and sisters to go and read the letter of Malik Ashtar from Imam Ali -Islam. The way it should be the system, our families, is not only for the government, even for our own families. Because if I am household of the family, I should know how to run and govern my own home because all what we hear is some broken sentence from Quran. Man has a power over the woman. No, that's not the case. Qawwam qaymumiyat has a different meaning. We have to understand that. So that's the essence. Imam Ali al-Islam, he came back to see Medina and also obviously for the Qabr of Holy Prophet and so on and so forth. And he went to the archers. Allahu Akbar. One by one archers. Ibn Abi Naidar, one of his companions and designated person to take care of the archers. He was you know, caretaker of the archers. He saw that all the trees are dying. There is no life. And there is no you know, uh, good fruits. Imam said, Yabna Abi Naidar, oh Abi Naidar, what happened? When I left, it was beautiful. And why I don't see the same thing? He said, Ya Ali, you know that the drought is, we are going through the drought season and there is no water. And only we had two well qanats and all of them, although both those two, dried. I don't have any water. Imam said, you need to dig more. He said, I have no energy. So Imam Ali Islam, he started digging with the help of Imam Hassan, Imam Hussain, Abul Fazl Abbas. Allahumma salli ala. For a couple of days, he able to dig a couple of, you know, uh, wells or qanats, and when water was there, Imam, one of the days when he was digging, he was so hungry. For the, you know, iftar, he said, do you have anything? He said, I don't have anything, just the bitter pumpkin. So pumpkins are two types. One is bitter pumpkin, one is sweet pumpkin. So bitter pumpkin. Imam said, bring that. And they roasted that. I don't know how they cooked that. And when he was eating, after he ate, he said, Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if I can feed myself with bitter pumpkin, why I should do unjust and zulm towards others? And then Imam said, bring the dawat and qalam. And then he wrote a wasiya. Hadai wasiyatun minni. This is a will from me. And all these seven archers are donated for the people. Ila amatin nas min al mahajir wal ansar. To all the people, whether mahajir ansar, for the general baytul mal. And in the end, he said that no one from my family member can claim neither to be custodian of that, nor to have an extra hack. Sometimes, even when we want to, for example, donate something, we put lots of conditions that, you know what, I have to be, for example, for this much, that much, or I have to, you know, oversee that, or my children, they have to oversee that, or, you know, something. We put some conditions, Baba. If you're doing for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're dealing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
Why we can't understand this that when I'm donating to Masjid, Masjid Mu'min Center, I'm not dealing with EC or few volunteers. I'm dealing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If I have to trust, I have to trust to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not to the EC. Why we put these conditions? You know what? For example, I want to bring this alim, this speaker. No, I want to, for example, for this, for this much, five, five years, you have to do this, you have to move. All that is conditions. Why? If you're dealing with Allah, leave it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and accept from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Indeed, 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 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward and will take care of you. Even if we miss, we will be responsible. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, la yukhliful mi'ad. That's the khair. Brothers and sisters, ni'mal, ni'mal zaad al ma'ad, al ihsanu ila al ibad. Pillar Imam Amir al Mu'mineen, the month of Ramadan, after the completion of the month of Ramadan, on the day of Eid al Fitr. Is sitting for the prayer. People are chanting, Allahu Akbar, Hadana, Allahu Akbar, Aulana, Allahu Akbar, Ma, Aulana. Everyone is cherishing, chanting, and having your fun. And surur is a good time because each time is a good time. Like here, everywhere, people, they want to offer the prayers. Everyone is happy. So Imam, he stands up and he was crying, Oh! من قلة زاد وبعد السفر. What I earn during the month of Ramadan is little compared to the destination ahead of us. يا مولا أمير المؤمنين جعلت فداك may our life be sacrificed to you. Your one sajda is equal to the ibadat of jinn and ins. One strike is heavier than the ibadat of all the jinn and ins. You able to acquire everything during the month of Ramadan. Your fasting is not a normal fasting. Your prayer is not a normal prayer. You did everything. You sacrifice. Yeah, and yet you're crying. Imam said, "Indeed, this is not something joke. I know, and I mean what I'm talking because this is not something formalities. No, this is between me and Allah, and I know that my destination is." eternal destination once we have an eternal destination we're not talking about 10 years 20 years 50 years 1000 10000 1 million 1 trillion no we're talking about the eternal life you know sometimes i will be uh, uh, you know uh, have some ghibta ghibta i want to i'm eager to have some reward after prayer our brother mashallah he recites 50 times 100 times 200 times salawat allahumma salli ala allah he is gathering it's not only for him all of us. The more we get reward for, not for one day, two day, we need it. Why? Because we have the eternal life, brothers and sisters. Holy Prophet is Ne'amazad, the best provision, the best risk you can store for yourself is al ihsanu ila al ibad. Qila wa mal ihsan. What type of good I can offer to, towards the creatures of the, you know, the, 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 the uh, people? Our beloved Imam shed the tears and he indicated to his children. And he said, indeed, if you can able to do something, education, they can learn something, that's the best khair for your ma'ad. Indeed, on the judgment day, you will wish that I wish I could spend all my effort and money, everything, for the upbringing of the children, to give them education, to do something towards the knowledge and education. That's the best. Ni'mazad al ma'ad. Ihsan al ibad. And Ihsan al ibad is education. Bil Ihsan yumlakul qulub. If you want to be aqa, if you want to be Mawla, you want to be leader, you want to acquire some, you know, sometimes, say, mashallah, I want to run, for example, for this and that. I want to do, for example, this position. I want to have this position. If you want to do that, Bil-Ihsan, help people. Daytime, nighttime. In Khalwat, in Jalwat, especially when no one is looking. One of the companions of 60 months said, Ya Ibn Rasulullah, the son of Holy Prophet, if you are talking about good, uh, you know, uh, khairat or good actions towards the people in khalwat, nighttime, no one can see me. 
So then how am I going to be famous? Our Imam said, man tasha, man tasha. The one who has to elevate you to the higher rank, he knows you. Nothing will be escaped by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you want to have all the good positions, even in this dunya, do something in khairat, in secret. Not only bragging and showing off. No, that's, although we have some of the amal, you can show off, that's not a problem. Like, Holy Prophet, when he built the first masjid, called Masjid al -Quba. And that Masjid al -Quba, Holy Prophet, he did not say that, you know what, please donate in secret. No, he said, who can do what? One person I can donate, for example, this much of date. I can do this. I can donate, for example, land and so on and so forth. So one person, he donated, for example, five, six acre land. Today, Masjid al-Quba, after 14th century, people, they go there, they offer the first masjid established there. Here, in this part of the world, if you want to be among those who contributed towards Masjid al-Quba and you want to open your account for eternal path, do something here. Because what you do is going to remain because you are you know, establishing Islam here in this part of the world. So one person donated, for example, land, one person do this, all that. And a lady, old lady, she came and she, she said, Ya Rasulullah, in my life, what I have is these two things. One is date and one she had some uh, uh, you know, uh, personal purse or something. These two, I want to donate. Holy Prophet said, no, you, you need that one. The purse, you keep for yourself and you take the date. And he said, Ayyuhannas, know that this one date, what she donated, in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is afdalu mimma tala'ati shams. Whatever you see, the, this you know, sun is shining, it's not only on the earth. Sun shines on all the planets because the same way we see the stars, night time, the sun also, other stars and other creatures they can see. Everything, whatever in this entire system, the shun, shine, sun shines on that, is better than all that. Why? Because she did out of love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and khalis lillah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad salawat. Al khalqu iyalu Allah fa ahab al khalq ila Allah man anfa'a iyaluhu wa adkhala ala ahl baytin surura. MashaAllah. Brothers and sisters, this is a beautiful hadith. Indeed, we say this is my family, this is your family, this is our family. No. All that is the family of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al khalqu Allah. My family is the family of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your family is family of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The best among you is the one who make the beautiful atmosphere in his home and make his family member happy, joyful. Facilitate everything. We have a hadith and riwayat. The worst person, a stingy person, a hand-tied person, Bakhil, is the one who is Bakhil towards his own family member. His wife, his children, his Bakhil. I may comedian among the people. I want to crack the jokes, everything. That's not Sakhi. If I go to home, with my children, with my family, with my wife, are able to make them happy, laugh, have a good time, comfortable zone. Once father goes, children, they have to gather around him as a glue, not to, for example, run away from him, as if, mashallah, the military person comes. No, we have to have a good atmosphere in our homes. That's what a hadith and riwayat says but Muhammad wali Muhammad salawat. 
That's the first point. The second point, brothers and sisters, what we have is وَكَرِّهْ إِلَيَّ فِيهِ الْفُسُوقَ وَالْعِسْيَانِ Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, give me strength to see the evilness of the evil. In Quran, what we have is we don't have ayah that don't commit adultery and zina. What we have is لا تقرب الزنا Don't be close to zina. Why? Because if you understand the qob, the shamefulness of that act, you don't go close to that. Yazid, one of his attributes, Imam Hussain's, what he said, شارب الخمر ملعن بالفسق قاتل النفس المحترمة One of the attributes of Yazid is he was mul'anun bil fisq. He used to commit sin openly, proud. You know, sometimes we commit sin. No one can claim that, oh, I'm ma'asum. If you find any ma'asum, please convey me salam, except Imam Zaman, all of us we know. <laughs> but except the other the Imam Zaman, all of us more or less, you know, we commit is, you know, sin. I mean, no doubt about that. We don't want to, you know, hide behind the bushes. But the point here is, if we commit this sin, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us chance. The first chance is, till night time you go to bed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala order the angels not to document that. If someone says, Ilahana Rabbana, what I did is wrong, I regret, I want to fix that, I want to come to you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Tell to the angels that don't document that. This is between me and him. The second chance, Hatta Laylatul Jumaa. Till the Thursday night, the night before Friday. Second chance, it will be like documented, but it's not documented, documented. And the third chance is till the last day of the year. The fourth chance is Laylatul Qadr. Brothers and sisters, Laylatul Qadr is around us. We are approaching pretty soon Laylatul Qadr. If you want to be forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there's a chance. Laylatul Qadr. Fusq, Asyam, Fusuq. The worst thing in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to brag about our sin. Talk about sin. That's why. Even, for example, someone committed a sin, people, they used to come, like, uh, for example, Christian, they have the, uh, uh, you know, the traditions that they have to go and confess before the uh, priest or pop, whatever. People, they thought the same thing about Islam and they went to Holy Prophet and they said, Ya Rasulullah, I commit this one, two, three, four, five. Holy Prophet said, no, you didn't commit. That's between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Go and Ask for forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Holy Prophet, he used to direct people. And it's not good to even confess among ourselves. Yes, if I did something wrong towards one of you or all of you, I have to stand proudly, confess that I did wrong, I'm sorry. It's good. Why? Because I want to resolve. I want to fix the problems. But something wrong that's between me and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why we have a namaz e shab We have a sajda. After every prayer, angels are waiting with documentations that if a servant, he wants to seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness or not. If you offer the prayer and you just leave as if there was something, you're in cage and you're free, you want to run away, okay. spend two minutes one minute, go to sajda. Ilahi al-Aaf. Ilahi qalbi mahjub. Why Imam al -Islam? Every day, dua sabah. In the end of the dua sabah, he used to go to sajda and he used to ask from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ilahi qalbi mahjub. There is a reason for all of us. It's not only just, you know, if I did something wrong, I have to go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No. We don't know how many sins we committed between me, between us and people, between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we don't recognize about those. We don't even pay attention about that. Brothers and sisters, we have to inshallah seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness.
for that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all the ni'mat and rahmat by Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad salawat few ahkam the first there's a lots of question about doctor appointment or I have a dentist appointment I have to get for example some shots or for example can I uh, brush my teeth so and so forth while you're fasting you can go to the doctor and even you can get the some of the medicines which doesn't require to uh, have from your mouth okay for example some of the uh, uh, you know the uh, shots is not a problem only shots which is a problem is energy shots you go to Olympic Games you will be caught up <laughs> because of those that's something problem if other than that it's not a problem you can get the shots even you can go to the dentist and you can take care of your uh, you know, appointment with the dentist as long as you're not you know uh, throw in the, the, the taking inside and also some of the uh, uh, you know uh, drops for eyes drops for nose as long as it's not going from your throat inside it's not a problem brushing the teeth is not a problem you can brush the teeth as long as you're not swallowing something so these are the things okay no problem and also having a perfume is okay only few types of perfumes especially uh, a rose perfume is macro during the fast time but other than that it's not a problem so you can have those uh, uh, you know doctor appointments or you know uh, the the uh, brushing the teeth and so on and so forth it's not a problem shower no problem yes it's macro to shower if you feel that you're going to be weaker but if you feel that you're going to be fresh, no problem, no problem, you can have. Only thing is don't dive in swimming pool. Or if you have a tap, a, the, the a bathtub, don't immerse your head. Although Atullah Sistan, he says, even if you immerse, your fast is not going to be affected. But majority of the mujtahideen says that if you do by purpose, immerse your head in the water, your fast will be batil. But if you don't do that, just your showering is not a problem. So shower is not a problem. Any question about the fasting? I think we have mo two more minutes. Yes. Yes, that's also not a problem. If you want to uh, give the blood for the test, it's not a problem. But donating blood during the month of Ramadan fasting is makru, especially if you become weaker, is not advisable. In some cases, if it's harmful for your body, it's haram. But your fasting is not going to be batil. Any question? Time of imsaq, based on Marhum Imam Khomeini, is ihtiyat wajib, atla khui, ihtiyat mustahab, other mujtahideen says ihtiyat. It means literally you can go till fajr time, but as a precautionary measure, measurement, like Atul Asisa says, highly recommend ihtiyat is that, but it's not wajib. Khayt al abiyad They used to go and they used to see the, that or they used to listen the Mu'adhin, Allahu Akbar. That's the time. That's the criteria. But now, mashallah, you have a time and everything. So, uh, oh, who, very good. Thank you, Jazakallah. The, determ the determinant of the uh, Salat times is based on the observations and the rulings of the Mujtahideen based on what you mentioned, the Ayah Khaytul Abiyad. The uh, uh, dawn, so the, the uh, dawn has some descriptions from the Mujtahideen Hadith and Riwad. Those criteria is given to the astronomers and they came up with the uh, uh, astronomy uh, to let, uh, I don't know, 16 or 15 or something. I, I can't remember if anyone is expert, they can say. But based on that, uh, the calculation from the ulama, all the uh, uh, timings, what we have is authentic by, uh, tested by Atul Asis and Atul Khamenei and different mujtahideen. Doesn't matter. The toilet, toilet light is same for every country, everywhere. So you can see, for example, noon time is exact noon time. 
whether you live here or there with the uh, uh, you know uh, technology what we have you can determine that so exactly that's that's you can you you can be here and you can determine about for example baghdad tehran anywhere if you have a criteria based on that criteria you can judge that okay but muhammad something important no no it's something important you can come yeah uh mummy uh, there are some park are uh, park wrong parking the behind the cars uh, although there's a bigger uh, walking area but uh, but that's a uh, uh, that's not a parking area, so please remove your car because of one car, the other people are parking next to you, and then we are going to having a problem. So please, please move your car uh, as soon as, uh, yes, as, I mean, please move uh, outside and move your car. Uh, we don't want to uh, call the towing company for that right behind this area, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can go ahead and... Yes. Yeah, I understand. I also I tried a couple of times because I'm not expert is difficult, but I can see that the imsak time is because sometimes we feel that subh kadib fajr kadib we feel that is it morning time but it's not really the uh, uh, signs of a rays of the uh, uh, you know sun so that's why there is a confusion confusion is between uh, uh, the uh, uh, 18 degree to toilet 18 degree to 16 degree or 15 degree i think here uh, 15 or 16 degree uh, some places, 14 degree for sure, you will see that everything. So each degree, three or four minutes difference each degree. So that's how you can see like sometimes three, four minutes pass here, there. Again, from the Fiqh point of view, as long as you are satisfied and you have yaqeen that sub happen, you can eat. MashaAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us, inshaAllah. Adhan, inshaAllah.